Today's video is going to be pretty short and pretty simple, uh, but it's uh, one of a few videos I'm going to be having here in the next few days that are going to build up and then you're going to see how they all come together to create a pretty cool script, uh, security script for your computer. Um, but today's command we're going to look at is called the gnome screensaver dash command. So gnome dash screensaver dash command. Uh, and this allows you to control your screensaver from your terminal. And uh, just typing out the command hang enter doesn't do anything. But if you give it a switch of A at the end, it will start your screensaver for you. Now, let me move my mouse and it will turn off the screensaver. If instead of A we use L, it will start our screensaver. But now if I move my mouse, you'll see that it also locked my computer. So I have to type in my password to unlock it. There's a third command I want to show you, which is the dash uh, D command, which doesn't seem to do anything. But what that at command actually does, it will unlock the computer if you run it. So if we run gnome screensaver command dash L to lock it, then I'll use my semicolon here to start a new command and I'll put the sleep command and I'll put five so it will sleep for five seconds. Semicolon for a new command, I will run the gnome screensaver command again, but this time with dash D. So what it's going to do if I hit enter, it will start my screensaver, count, and it's also locked the computer, count five seconds, and then unlock it. Uh, and you'll see how this incorporates into a uh, fancy little script we'll be making here in the next week or so. So the command, once again, is the GNOME screensaver command. And the three switches are A, which starts your screensaver, L, which locks your computer, and D, which deactivates the screensaver and unlocks your computer. So uh, I have not tried this. Uh, in any other desktop. I know that the K desktop has its own screensaver uh, commands and locking, um, but if you have GNOME installed, it may or may not work in that desktop environment, as well as other environments like Flux or Blackbox or uh, XFCE. Um, so I can't guarantee they're going to work in there, but uh, GNOME is pretty popular, and give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.